Hello everyone, my name is Tyson, and today I'm going to be making another tutorial. The last video I made was about Brutal Doom and how to use ZDL to load mods. I got a few comments in the description asking about Doom 64 EX since I mentioned it but didn't explain how to get it in depth. Granted, there's not much depth, but some people may not know where to get it. Considering Doom 64 EX does require a little bit of work to get going, I figured that this video may be a little bit needed for some people. I also figured that while I'm at it, I may as well show you where to get the Doom 64 WAD that's compatible with Brutal Doom so that you can play the game while anticipating the official Sgt. Mark IV release of Brutal Doom 64 with enhanced effects and weapons. Anyway, enough about what I'm talking about. Let's actually get to the meat and potatoes of the matter. So first you're going to want to go to Google, or in my case, DuckDuckGo, and just search Doom 64 EX. You'll want to look for the WordPress page, which should be the first page after the ads. Once it's loaded, go to the Downloads page and proceed to download the Windows binary if you're on Windows, the Mac OS installer if you're a terrible person and actually spent money on a Mac. I'm just kidding, but this tutorial isn't exactly Mac user friendly because I hate using Mac OS and how much Apple's bullshit premium is. Anyway, once it's downloaded, simply open the zip and drag its contents into a folder of your choosing. Once you have this, you'll need to acquire a ROM of Doom 64. The reason will be apparent here in a minute. Once you have this, extract it from the zip file into the directory of Doom 64 EX. When you have it in the directory, open the program WADGEN and it will create the files you need to play Doom 64 EX. From this point, you'll have everything you need, but you're still not finished because you still need to configure everything. First things first, you'll need to set the resolution and disable windowed mode in the video settings. Unless, of course, you prefer windowed gaming, in which case, by all means, just choose your desired size. This will work even with resolutions above the monitor's native res, but keep in mind that it may not exactly be playable since 75% of the screen is off-screen. This may be useful to you, however, if you have a multi-monitor setup and would like to have an ultra-wide kind of view, even though it's not exactly designed for that. Turning off windowed mode when you have a resolution higher than your native isn't exactly recommended because when you go ahead and try to reboot Doom 64 EX, you'll just be greeted with an OpenGL error saying that it couldn't open. If you get caught here, you'll need to go into the directory again and open the autoconfig.cfg and find the values pertaining to the resolution. Here, it's best to just put in your native resolution for the full screen, or slightly below native for windowed. For instance, I have a 1080p screen, so 1600 by 900 would be perfect for windowed. If you have a 1360 by 768 screen, 1280 by 720 would work well for your screen. Anyway, there are all sorts of settings to change for the best experience, a lot of this is, is preference, hence why the options are there. But to get what I'm getting, you'll want to change the following in setup. Auto aim off, jumping on, textures padded, frame rate smooth, and skybox on. I also prefer to have texture filtering and video settings set to nearest because the linear look is very smudged and kinda just looks like someone took Vaseline and spread it all over the fucking screen. For me, one of the most important things this allows for is mouse look. So if you want that, go to controls, mouse, and enable mouse look to be able to look up and down. If you want a more modernized game, in display, enable damage HUD and set HUD flash to overlay. Also. Enable Show Weapon, Show Stats, and in Setup, set Use Context to Shown, Show Key Pickups, and Show Locked Doors. From that point, the game should be perfectly playable and set up for a great experience. That about does it for Doom 64 EX. Let's move on to the unofficial Brutal Doom 64, where to get that, and what to do with it. First, following the same first step from Doom 64 EX, just search Brutal Doom 64. You'll mostly come across Sergeant Mark IV's work in progress, but what we're looking for is a video. Click the one with this icon, it'll be the third one down in Google. From there, pause the video and go to the description, find the download link, and click it. From there, just click download and wait for it to finish. Once it's done, extract it to your Xandronum or GZ Doom folder, and open up ZDL, add the WAD file to a Brutal Doom config, and you're set for some early Brutal Doom 64. If you're new to using Brutal Doom, then click the annotation or the link in the description for my video explaining that in depth. 
That about wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you play a badass game that you didn't know existed or have always wanted on PC but never knew where to get it, click the like button and subscribe for more. If you have any suggestions, criticisms, or requests for a future video, leave them down below. And as always, this is Retro Hellspawn.